go away. Well, the only reason why herpes is such a problem is because it doesn't respond to antibiotics. It's not like gonorrhea or syphilis. If someone had gonorrhea or syphilis, they take antibiotics and the bacteria is gone. And with herpes, it's a virus, and there currently is no good viral medication that can attack the herpes virus. But there is still a way to get rid of the virus. There is still a way to be free of outbreaks, to test negative for herpes, and to not have the virus and not affect somebody else. So in order for us to understand herpes and how to get rid of it, we have to understand how this is going to work. And the how is actually two parts. And I'm going to go over that with you right now. The first part is the actual activating your own immune system. To fight the virus. You obviously have herpes antibodies and that means that your immune system has locked in and contacted the herpes. What your body cannot do is completely get rid of all the herpes and so that's why the herpes never seems to go away. The other part, the actual skin outbreak, is the inflammation that was created by the herpes attacking your nerves. So we have a nerve, and this nerve is attached to our skin. And this nerve, at the other end, is attached to your spine. So this is our nerve. This part of the nerve attaches to the spine, and this is where you feel the sensation. This is the actual nerve. And it'll pass through and go to the skin. And at the end of the skin, what you get is an outbreak. Only at the skin. You don't get an outbreak anywhere else. And this is similar to somebody with another skin problem where they're detoxing out toxins out of their skin. So we know that whatever is coming out of the skin is toxins. We also know that the virus is actually likes to hang out where the spine is and they create toxins and as the toxins fill up the nerve they get released and you get an outbreak. This explanation can answer why some people have herpes, they test positive for herpes, but they get no outbreak. The nerve is out there, out here, but there's not enough inflammation in the nerve yet, so there's no outbreak. And this also explains why some people get an outbreak every day. These viruses are dumping toxins and the toxins have now overloaded the nerve. So every day the nerve has to release the toxins and it's like releasing pressure. And so the outbreak, the frequency of the outbreak deter is determined by how much toxins are in the nerve. So we have an outbreak equals toxins. So that's the first part. When I first started using herbs, I was able to flush out the nerve and the person would no longer have outbreaks. They're happy. But when they did their test, they would still test positive for herpes. So that's another clue to how to handle herpes. The other part, which is the actual virus, and that's what we're all interested in, is actually simple. So the actual virus makes toxins. So the, the more toxins is made, the more often you get outbreaks. The last part is white blood cells attacks virus. And that's true and does not require you to believe anything is because 
your blood tests show you're positive for herpes. And the blood test is testing for the antibodies. And the only way you have antibodies is if your white blood cell has contacted and recognized the virus and the white blood cell now makes antibodies. So white blood cells makes antibodies to the virus. So if that was enough, if you had a ton of antibodies in your system, then we should not have the virus. But that's not true because there's two tests for the herpes. One is for the antibodies and one is for the live virus, a DNA test and also known as PCR. So the last part is the test antibodies or DNA. So you have to get both. So when you get the test, tell them you want both. Okay? Just being, just testing positive for antibodies does not tell you whether or not what your current uh, virus is doing. So with all this data, we're going to go over something very simple. The first thing, regardless of whatever you heard, is to knock out, out the virus. That's step one. If you can't knock out the virus, the virus will continue to make toxins and you're going to continue to get skin outbreaks. So with white blood cells. So this is where the Chinese medicine program that I created for herpes is it increases our white blood cells to the point where it can actually eliminate viruses. And this is different from the white blood cells that are just chugging along making antibodies. This is now recruiting very specific white blood cells and targeting them to get rid of the virus. And so that requires detox. Once that detox step is done, then you clean nerve of toxins. So now once the virus is knocked out after the detox phase, the cleaning the nerve of toxins handles the skin outbreaks. We could stop skin outbreaks if we get rid of all the toxins in the nerve. And when you do that, then the frequency, how often you get the skin outbreak and how bad it gets reduced. The last part is actually quite interesting is regenerating damaged nerve. Depending on how long you had the virus, that virus is puncturing, putting holes into the nerve and injecting toxins into the nerve. So we have to regenerate damaged nerve. Okay. And another reason why is understanding how viruses work. Viruses actually hijack. So a virus, in order for them to replicate in order for them to make more viruses what the viruses do is they attack healthy cells and within the healthy cell they make more viruses and this is why current medications don't work is once the virus is in the cell it's hiding from the medication and that's why the white blood cell is much smarter than the virus medication so they can actually find the cells that are infected with the virus and knock those out at the same time. So regenerating damaged cell means all of the nerve cells that were hosts to a virus. The virus used the nerve cell to parts of the nerve cell to be, make more viruses. That area needs to be healed. So that's the regeneration step. And once you complete all three steps, and the thing we're looking for is no skin outbreaks. Once the skin outbreak has been consistently stopped, so there's at least two months, sometimes three months, for no outbreaks, and then we go back and get the same test. And the test that we're looking for is there's a herpes antibody. The herpes antibody test is permanent. 
you're always going to be positive for herpes antibodies. If you've ever had chickenpox, if you ever had measles, if you ever had any childhood diseases, your antibodies to that virus is always going to be there. So a herpes antibody does not mean you have herpes right this moment. There is a herpes DNA. Another name for it is a PCR test. This is actually the technology that's used to check the DNA. The herpes DNA is going to be low. When you have a low herpes count, it has to be low to uh, below minimum. So there is a range where if you're below that range, you are now no longer positive for herpes DNA. So in combination with no more skin outbreaks and a low DNA count on the herpes DNA test, we can now safely say you're not going to infect another person. This does not mean that you get a free pass because you will get reinfected like that. But if you're safe and if you watch yourself, you can now live a life without skin outbreaks and your herpes DNA test will tell you you don't have a herpes virus in your system. But just know for the rest of your life, you are going to be positive for the herpes antibody. And this is the complete herpes cleanse that I worked out over the years. And now this is what people get. It's a process. We can't get rid of all the virus at one time but it works. And when nothing else works, and something does work, we'll keep using this system until something better comes along. But using Chinese herbs to activate your immune system, your white blood cells, to clean out the toxins in your nerves and regenerate your nerves and to not have an outbreak and to now be tested low on the herpes DNA test, that's pretty good.